This seems like the worst possible time for the economy to to go into this kind of harder lockdown. So many retailers are uh, turning profitable for the year finally and are not going to be able to. Is the government capable of financing those businesses in, a, in such a way as to save them or are we going to see a wave of bankruptcies as a result? The German government is doing everything it can. There's hardly any country in the world that has put on bigger uh, stimulus programs helping companies compensate them for the costs or even for the for the revenues. Um, but the, the honest truth is that, of course, a government can never compensate entirely for the losses for the economic cost of such a pandemic. So clearly, the German government has deep pockets. It has announced further stimulus measures uh, starting from January. Um, so it does what it can. But clearly, the probably one of the biggest risks for the German economy is a wave of corporate bankruptcies next year. Uh, the German government actually suspended the legal obligation to declare bankruptcy for companies this year. This is expiring at the end of December. Uh, many companies are highly indebted. Um, Many companies expect and rightly expect revenues to stay weak for, 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 for much longer. And we actually expect a contracting German economy in the first quarter next year. So one of the big risks will indeed be a wave of corporate insolvency. I think it's not the question whether it's going to come. It's more the question when exactly uh, companies will fail. So is this the right measure now, Marcel? I mean, uh, we, we've been in lockdown light since November. It feels like a lot longer than that, but it hasn't helped. Is this going to do the, do the trick? Well, the lockdown light has helped. Uh, it has helped, not helped enough. And I think it's very important to emphasize that there's no trade-off between protecting people's lives and protecting the virus from spreading, on the one hand, on the other hand, uh, from protecting the economy. And we have seen already during uh, the, the last few months that the German economy, that sales, for instance, um, in stores have declined by 50 percent. So the economic downturn already resumed in the, in the fourth quarter now, starting in October. Uh, so the quicker Germany can stop the, the second wave of the virus, the earlier the German economy can restart. And the German economy did very well in the third quarter. Uh, the the um, uh, the uh, exports have been booming, consumption has been picking up. So the biggest challenge will be to stop the second wave of the virus. The earlier this happens, the better for the economy. Um, and again, um, Germany's government is very resilient. It has the fiscal means to support companies and households. It has done so fairly effectively. But uh, the honest truth is that um, Germany so far uh, in the first wave of the virus has be been doing a lot better than most of Europe. Now it's catching up with Germany and Germany is suffering now the second wave as much and probably even stronger than other countries in Europe. We just saw some manufacturing data out, uh, Marcel, some PMI data that showed 58.6. That, that, that was ahead of the forecast. It's a very high number. That's manufacturing. Services is a different story, of course. You talk about uh, how we are going to see bankruptcies. Is this, where are we going to see those? Is this going to be very skewed towards the services sector or is the manufacturing export engine also going to be under pressure? Manufacturing has been doing better than services. Uh, Germany's big benefit uh, are its exports. Exports have been hit uh, in the first wave very strongly. But with China and Asia recovering, German, Germany's exports are actually doing well. So the problem is corporate investment uh, and uh, consumption, particularly in services sectors, social consumption. So uh, events, traveling, um, uh, going to restaurants, going shopping. Uh, these are the sectors hit particularly hard. So it's those sectors and particularly smaller companies. And the structure of the German economy is quite different from many other countries. We have a very strong focus on mid-sized and smaller companies. Those are somewhat res less resilient. They are usually much more reliant on, corp on, on bank financing uh, than the corporate bond markets. Um, so um, we will see a number of failures in particular, not just in services, but also among smaller companies, possibly also including the auto sector. Uh, this we will see next year.